very important to us. And um, as you can imagine, our family has not had one day of normalcy since this happened. Um, we celebrated his son's two-year birthday last month without him, of course, which was very de devastating to us. Our family celebrated his brother's graduation from high school without him, which should have been another day of celebration, but unfortunately, we cried, but not because we were happy for the celebration. We were unhappy that he wasn't here to partake in the, in the joy. Uh, you know, we very often read in the paper that, uh, you know, of these crimes and these unfortunate incidents. And, you know, when you read about them, you hope and you pray that the family going through it survives. But when it hits home, it's, it's different. And so basically, we want to let the people of Ansonia know that we're hurting, we're devastated, and we're reaching out for someone to please come forward and, and say something or, or tell something or, or anything at this point. And, um, some justice has to be served, some, something has to come through. I, I know it happened in broad daylight, there were a couple witnesses out here, so someone has to know something out here, so, someone has to know. And once again, I just want to plead with the people of that song. If you were here on March 16th, at approximately six o'clock, and you saw or heard anything, anything, it doesn't matter what it was, please say something. Come forward, talk to the police, say something. Because no matter how small or how unimportant you think it may be, it might make the difference. It might make the difference.